Okay, got a couple parts in. Some more ordered. Got a muffler and also my decals. Um, I think there's one more decal I need to order. On this muffler, I knew it from the picture. It looks a little bit different from the one in the diagram where this bracket is actually opposite of the um, where the exhaust comes in. So I'm hoping this will work. I saw on a forum a guy took a picture and his tractor had this. I'm not exactly sure where this bolts up to. But like I said on my diagram, it shows this on the opposite side. So I may have to cut this off and re-weld it. I hope not. Anyway, off to the tractor. Okay, every time I come out here, I like to have goals in mind. Today, my goal is to figure out where the choke plate is and see if I can get the choke plate back on. And also, I'm going to try out the hammer and dolly, which I've never tried before, to see about fixing this bent metal down here. And uh, we'll give that a try, see if I can do some hammer and dolly. I'm not a professional, but I'm going to give it a shot, see what happens. Unfortunately, for the choke today, my little goal probably is not going to happen because I can find the choke plate. But the only other thing I can find, and I didn't take this apart, is the uh, little housing here. And um, so I don't have a clue to how this choke plate goes on there. There's no connectors or anything, so I, have, I can't find any connectors or anything. So I'm going to have to pull out the parts diagram there and um, maybe order some parts, or hopefully not, but maybe a new carburetor, but I'm hoping I can just get the choke parts. So, time to do some hammer and dolly. Well, here's my hammer and dolly set. You can see it still has the plastic on the, on the parts there, on the hammers and the dollies. So I'm going to pull the plastic off. I have no clue to what hammer to use or what dolly, but I'm going to just start banging away and see if I can get some of these dents out. Okay, here comes attempt number one. It looks like this dolly kind of fits back there. Right here. So I'm going to grab one of these hammers and see if we can bang away. Like that may be working. Holy moly, that may work. Holy moly, boys and girls, that ain't too shabby. Got the dents out. Looks fairly straight. I like it. Hammer and dolly, good. A couple more wax here and there, and I think she's ready to start grinding it out. I think she's ready to start grinding it out after a couple more wax. Okay, so that actually banged out well. Now the fender has a couple of uh, 
big dents here, but in the back over here, it has a dent as well. I'm going to try to get this one out first before I start attacking the attacking this dent here in this fender. See what we can come up with. Okay. Try to attack this fender a little bit. Uh, there's a nice little bend in there. Let's see what we can do with that baby. We'll try this dolly. You guys out there know about shrinking and stretching. Uh, I just know I got bent metal and I got to try to unbend it. I don't know what all that stuff means, but here we go. Alright, you can kind of see where there's a dent, a little pinch in here. So we got a pinch and a dent. So I took the seat off. I'm going to try to see if I can get some of that. And we got uh, dents over here. See if I could bang some of this stuff out. And uh, here's the back of it where I was just banging. Got most of that out. But we'll get that whole back end straight. Out. Okay, I knew the, uh, the curve of this fender was going to be the hardest fix, but uh, holy back row, I got most of it, uh, of the bends out of there. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, just a little bit more shaping here, and I uh, should be ready to go. The other bend back here is fixed, so the sheet metal stuff is going a little bit faster than I thought. I think I'll be able to get this at least this part of the sheet metal done today. Um, I'll do some finish uh, banging on this thing once I get it grinded down and can put some coats of mud on it to see where the high and low spots are but for the most part a little bit more banging and uh, should be ready to go. overall a good day um, banged out most of the dents on that fender and back here you can see that's straight across there um, banged out the dents on there got that all straightened up I think it's ready to go ahead and strip down and um, take a look at it from there and bang it out just a little bit more and get her all primed up and painted all right overall like I said successful day I got to look into the carburetor stuff see if I can figure out how to get me a choke on there. Thank you and see you next time.